Okay, so you've downloaded Comfy UI, you've got the default workflow set up, and you go to generate an image, and it takes forever, perhaps five minutes to generate. That's likely because you don't have a very good graphics card. I'm going to show you how to generate images using SD 1.5 and SDXL using a GTX 1050 graphics card. If you've got something better than that, then this technique will also work and you'll have an even better experience. So the reason why GTX 10 series doesn't work so well in Comfy UI is mostly because of the amount of VRAM available and also most models are generated using the FP16 data format. 10 series graphics cards don't support the FP16 data type, so they have to do a conversion to FP32. If you've seen some of my older videos, I do have some information about how to use an FP32 version of Stable Diffusion 1.5 in Comfy UI, but that still isn't an ideal solution. What I'm going to show you in this video is something that will increase the speed in which you generate images by nine to 10 times faster. Okay, so the trick is to use an LCM LoRa. So I have set up some already. So what I'm going to do is grab this model output, go up to search, Look for LoRa and select LoRa load model only. I already have some models here that I can select from. This LCM LoRa SD15, which is for Stable Diffusion 1.5. That model then goes into model like that. Now, if I was on a GTX 1050, instead of it taking five minutes to generate an image of 512 by 512 using the base SD1.5 model, it would generate in about 30 seconds. Okay, so if I just run that, Okay, so that's actually much faster for me because I'm actually using a GTX 4060 Ti because I can't actually create videos and run Comfy UI at the same time on my GTX 1050. But believe me, a GTX 1050 is really horrible to use with Comfy UI. And you're probably watching this video because you have first-hand experience of that and that's why you're watching this video, to try and figure out if there's a way around it. And there is, okay? So actually, what I should have also done here was not only load the specific LoRa, the LCM LoRa. It's a type of LoRa. There are many types of LoRa's that you can use. LoRa stands for low rank adaptation. It changes the weights of the model as it goes through. And this LCM LoRa changes it in a way which means that we can generate an image in many less steps. So instead of 20 steps, such as the default, we can generate a good quality image in just four steps. But with the CFG, we should also lower that to being between one and two. I like to use 1.5, okay? Another thing we do is we choose the specific sampler being LCM and the scheduler being SGM uniform. Now I'll generate that again. I'm using a random seed and that was much faster. But look at the Q, even on my GTX 4060 Ti, the first one was 3.5. 0.81 seconds. The next one was 0.69 seconds. Now, admittedly, the quality isn't quite as good when using this LCM LoRa, but if you have a 10 series graphics card, you're pretty much excluded from the world of AI generation due to the fact that it takes so long. So using this LCM LoRa will mean that you can participate a lot more. Now, I also have a course on Comfy UI and you can join my memberships where you get access to my Comfy UI course, plus many others if you're interested in Comfy UI. But if you have a 10 series graphics card, you really won't be able to participate even in this course. But now, since I've shown you the LCM LoRa, you can actually participate in the course up to a certain point where the course then leads on to more advanced models such as Lux. But the course will still be useful for you if in case you want to explore that idea. Anyway, that's my memberships area on my channel and you can join that using this link here. Anyway, back to this. One thing I should have told you is what LCM actually means on this page and there'll be a link in the description. LCM stands for latent consistency model. It's designed to make diffusion models faster and more efficient. Okay, so instead of performing many sampling steps like 20 to 50 in traditional diffusion, LCM can generate good results in just between two and eight steps. I used four on this. Let's see what happens if I generate using two. Okay, so two, enter, run that. Okay, actually works out quite good. If I use an eight and run that again, it's even better. Let's just try a different prompt because that is the default prompt. A close up picture of an old person standing in the rain. So we're using SD 1.5 still and I can show you that it actually produces quite good results. Now that is a 512 by 512 image. Let's generate another one. Okay, I don't really see any raindrops, but it does still look like maybe they're protecting themselves from the rain. Anyway, 
that is steps eight let's get into steps two and see that actually still does produce quite good results well you can sort of see there is some blurriness let's go up to four and there we go and that's pretty good and actually these faces are pretty good for an sd 1.5 sd 1.5 is terrible at doing faces but with this laura we're actually getting some progress on that anyway let's try another one here's an umbrella there's perhaps it's a little bit rainy but anyway moving on now that you can actually use sd 1.5 models on a 10 series graphics card quite well there are many SD 1.5 based models that you could try. There's Absolute Reality, Dream Shaper 8, Magic Mix Realistic Version 7, Realistic Vision. Let's try Realistic Vision and see how that generates. Okay, it's still pretty good. There's some raindrops in that one. Yeah, much better. Anyway, I talk about a lot of these different models in my Comfy UI course that you can get through my YouTube memberships. Anyway, now moving on not only can people with 10 series graphics cards participate in sd 1.5 image generation much more easily there's also one for sdxl sdxl is useful for generating much larger images say 1024 by 1024 but you should choose an sdxl based model so i'll choose the default one that's sdxl base 1.0 safe tensors now make sure your LoRa and the checkpoint or the base checkpoint are both SDXL. My steps and CFG and sampler name and scheduler are the same. Let's run that. Okay, so that is a much faster generation even with SDXL now. And it's actually quite good. Run that again. Another one. Very good. The rain looks pretty good. And these are 1024 by 1024 images. Okay. And also SDXL have many derivative models based on SDXL1. So one I like to use is Realism Engine SDXL there. Generate some images using that. So run. Very good. Big raindrops. Okay. Very good. You get the idea. Now, how to get these LORAs. In my description, there's a link to my website, to this page here, this appendum page, using LCM LoRa's to speed up SD 1.5 and SDXL workflows. Just down here, if you're wanting to speed up your SD 1.5 workflows, you can download this file here called PyTorch LoRa Weights Safe Tensors. So click that. That'll take us to Hugging Face, and that's the model there. You can download that like so. Now, the problem with it, though, is the file name. Because if you were to also download this SDXL version, this PyTorch LoRa 8 Safe Tensors, from this web page, LCM LoRa SDXL, the file name is the same. So if you download it, it's just going to rename it slightly. But anyway, not to worry. Both of those files have downloaded into my Downloads folder. Now, we should rename them so that we know what they are later on in the future, just in case if we forget what they were. On my web page, I've got some suggestions. So rename the SD 1.5 one to that that was the first one so you can rename that to lcm laura sd 15 dot safe tensors and the other one we can rename to that rename like so and so when you got both of those grab them both control x or control copy go into your comfy ui models lauras and paste them here now i've already done it so it's going to be a bit pointless for me to do that but that's what you will need to make sure those two files are in there and then in comfy ui go to nodes do refresh node definitions and then those options will be available in this load LoRa model only node here. So for SD 1.5 use that or SDXL use that. Don't forget to put your steps down, CFG down, use the LCM sampler and the SGM uniform scheduler. And then you can generate very good quality images much more quickly on your GTX 10 series graphics cards. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and consider joining my SB Code memberships where you'll get access to all of my Comfy UI videos plus many, many others. Excellent.